Tesla has just struck a blow against the very phenomenon it helped spark, and no one saw it coming. For years, Elon Musk was the symbol of the lithium-ion battery revolution. He made electric cars a global dream, transforming lithium into the invisible engine of the electrified era. Entire governments changed their policies, industries redesigned their strategies, and investors treated this metal as if it were untouchable. However, quietly and without making big headlines, Tesla decided to turn the wheel in another direction. In a sealed laboratory, away from the public eye, the company ignited a new technological race, not to improve lithium, but to replace it entirely. The change isn't just another upgrade or a small step forward. We're talking about a battery built with one of the most abundant metals on the planet, aluminum. An alternative that doesn't rely on fragile supply chains or scarce materials. This system doesn't overheat, poses no fire hazard, and can be manufactured at a much more affordable cost. Instead of a show-stopping announcement or a viral tweet, Tesla let the results speak for themselves, cold, clear, and impossible to ignore data. We're talking charging speeds up to 60 times faster, a lifespan that far exceeds that of the car itself, and a stability that makes lithium a technology of the past. Every internal test debunked the notion that the future depended on lithium, the real goal was always to eliminate its need. The most surprising thing is that Tesla's move shines not only for its chemistry, but also for its global strategy. While critics still debate the future of current batteries, this new technology has already solved problems that plagued the sector for decades. Lithium suffers from the buildup of dendrites, those tiny metallic needles that degrade it from within, aluminum does not. Lithium requires expensive cooling systems to prevent failures, aluminum operates over a much wider temperature range. Lithium carries the specter of thermal runaway and the associated risks, aluminum completely eliminates those concerns. And all of this rests on one crucial point, aluminum infrastructure is already deployed around the world. There are mines, refining chains, transportation networks, and recycling centers ready to sustain this revolution without needing to reinvent the wheel. So, before this story is buried by industry interests or drowned in headlines, remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned, because what Tesla just revealed could mark the beginning of the end for the battery that built the electric car empire. The infrastructure is already in place, built over more than a century to support entire industries. Tesla doesn't need to reinvent the wheel or open up conflict-torn deserts in search of scarce minerals. The supply chain that can sustain this revolution already exists, waiting to be tapped. But the game doesn't stop there. While other companies spent years trying to eke out a few minutes less charging time or a few extra miles of range from lithium batteries, Tesla decided to abandon that race. It built an entirely new track, and before the rest of the world even understood what was happening, Tesla was already lapping them lap after lap. The most impressive thing is that the aluminum ion battery is not a simple theoretical concept or a piece of paper filed away in a patent office. It is a working technology, scalable, repeatable, and ready for mass production. Within Tesla's supply chain, rumors are circulating that camouflaged prototypes are already circulating on the streets of California, disguised under ordinary bodies, concealing a breakthrough that could change the history of mobility. And the inevitable question is, what exactly does this battery do? It breaks limits that previously seemed unbreakable. Where lithium batteries achieve a maximum of around 250 watt-hours per kilogram, the aluminum-ion system developed by Tesla exceeds 5,000 watt-hours per kilogram. That's not an improvement, it's rewriting the rules of the energy game. The implications are enormous. It means a car capable of crossing the entire United States, from San Francisco to New York, on a single charge. It means reaching 100% in just 10 minutes, without overheating, without specially refrigerated stations, without pressure on the electrical grid, and, above all, without the fear of a battery failing on an extremely hot day. But here comes the most unexpected twist, this battery doesn't degrade like others. The internal microcracks repair themselves in real time, extending a lifespan never seen before. We're talking between 50,000 and 70,000 charge cycles without losing efficiency, which translates to a lifespan of more than 70 years. In practice, this battery will not only outlive the vehicle it powers, but probably also the driver behind it. It's not just a technological improvement, we're witnessing the end of battery anxiety. Goodbye to planned obsolescence, goodbye to constant replacements that drain users' wallets. This time, the narrative is different, a power source capable of lasting several generations, forever changing the relationship between humanity, electric cars, and the way we understand mobility. No more environmental crises every five to seven years when a battery pack loses more than 80% of its capacity. And if that weren't enough, this new technology can enter a state of deep hibernation, 
conserving energy with almost zero loss for up to a full decade. Imagine leaving your car parked for 10 years, coming back and starting it as if you'd charged it the day before. But we're not just talking about impressive numbers here, we're talking about the impact those numbers have on a world that's built its entire economy around lithium. Billions in investments, entire supply chains, and production networks exist solely to extract, process, and transport lithium from one point to another on the planet. What will happen when that entire system becomes irrelevant? What will happen when the car of the future no longer needs cobalt, lithium, gigantic cooling systems, or software that monitors its temperature every few seconds? The answer is simple, collapse for those who bet on the old and absolute dominance for Tesla. Because while the competition multiplied lithium factories around the world, Tesla leaped into another dimension of physics. It wasn't content with improving what already existed, it replaced it with something completely new. Now the entire industry is staring face to face with obsolescence, too late to react and too slow to adapt. This isn't a gradual decline like a technology that expires over time. It's an explosion, a detonation that has already begun to send shockwaves through every corner of the market. Tesla's aluminum ion battery isn't just a breakthrough in numbers, it's a breakthrough that seems straight out of science fiction. The features it unlocks sound like chapters in a futuristic novel, but there's no fiction here, it's real, tangible, and poised to transform everything we know. First of all, the battery regenerates itself. Yes, you heard that right. The microfractures that ruin lithium cells over time are repaired in seconds inside these new cells. Imagine that, a battery that not only survives wear and tear, but actually grows stronger with each charge cycle. Instead of aging, it becomes more resilient, turning constant use into a process of continuous improvement. It's almost as if your battery were alive. The second, the so-called deep hibernation mode. Lithium batteries discharge even when not in use, losing energy like a faucet that drips slowly over months or years. This one, on the other hand, enters a zero-loss state, capable of retaining its charge intact for 10 years of inactivity. You leave your car in the garage, forget about it for a full decade, and when you return, it starts as if it had been plugged in yesterday. And the third is perhaps the most revolutionary, this battery isn't just designed to power a vehicle. It's a true energy powerhouse. Imagine a massive blackout caused by storms or power grid failures. Instead of being a simple parked car, your Tesla becomes a backup generator, capable of powering your home for days and even an entire neighborhood. We're talking a paradigm shift, a car that not only consumes energy, but becomes the backbone of energy security in times of crisis. With capacities exceeding 2000 kilowatt hours per battery, these modules are not simple energy storage units, they are truly portable power stations. They can power an entire home, a remote campsite, a command center in the middle of nowhere, or any location where electricity is vital. This goes far beyond transportation, it's a mobile energy revolution that breaks the dependence on fragile and vulnerable central grids. Imagine never again being tied to a weak electrical system, your car becomes your energy freedom. Meanwhile, in the rest of the industry, traditional giants continue to chase a shadow. Automakers and battery producers remain tied to lithium, building colossal factories and burning billions on a technology that will soon be obsolete. There is talk of new alternatives, solid-state batteries, sodium batteries, lithium-iron phosphate batteries. But all these solutions are already being eclipsed. The aluminum cells developed by Tesla not only surpass performance, but do so at a lower cost and with unparalleled safety. While traditional companies optimize outmoded formulas, Tesla is rewriting the fundamentals of energy storage from the ground up. The economic impact is devastating for competitors. When these batteries reach the market at scale, rivals will be desperate to defend the crumbs of a crumbling pie. The mere effect on prices is already shaking up the electric vehicle world. Today, a 50 kilowatt hour lithium pack costs over $7,000. The aluminum equivalent proposed by Tesla will cost less than $4,000. We're talking about a nearly 50% reduction in the most expensive part of an electric car. That difference alone reduces the total price of the vehicle by at least 20%. Tesla's next electric model powered by this technology is expected to hit the market for less than $16,000. Yes, you heard right, $16,000 for an electric car with greater range, superior performance, and a battery that doesn't catch fire. Unthinkable in a sector that still sells safety as a luxury. But the revolution doesn't stop at production. Thanks to the design of these batteries, the recycling rate is close to 95%, closing manufacturing cycles, reducing dependence on new extractions, and drastically decreasing the environmental impact. This means that mass adoption will not depend on government subsidies or complex tax incentives. 
The technology will sell itself for three reasons, safety, price, and performance. And the most powerful thing is that its effects are not limited to the automotive world. We are witnessing the dawn of a silent energy revolution. Off-grid homes, forgotten rural communities, or towns that relied on polluting generators will now have access to clean, reliable energy. Military bases, disaster response teams, and even entire industries will gain a strategic advantage with batteries capable of lasting 70 years without degrading. Imagine a scenario where your electric vehicle not only replaces your combustion engine, but also becomes the energy heart of your home during a storm. A world where the car in your garage isn't just transportation, it's the guarantee that you'll never be in the dark again. We are witnessing the collapse of fossil fuel dependence and the birth of decentralized energy grids. Tesla is no longer simply a car manufacturer, it is becoming the architect of energy autonomy. And the most striking thing is that this revolution doesn't need big headlines or strident marketing campaigns. It is advancing quietly, through secret testing, strategically planned production lines, and discrete launches. While governments and companies argue over climate policies, infrastructure budgets, or decarbonization goals, Tesla has already built the technology that makes many of those debates unnecessary. A future with abundant, secure, accessible, and distributed energy is not a distant promise, it's already here, and its driving force is aluminum. The transition didn't come with a bang or spectacular announcements. It was silent, almost imperceptible, but those who look closely know that the ground is beginning to crack beneath the lithium era. For years, this metal was the emblem of electric mobility. Today, however, its luster is beginning to fade. Demand that once grew relentlessly is now flattening. A stagnation that reveals an uncomfortable truth, the industry is shifting in another direction. Although traditional analysts insist on projecting a bright future for lithium, the reality is that aluminum-ion batteries are gaining ground at a rate that surprises even the most optimistic. And they're not just gaining ground, they're multiplying their presence. Projections indicate that sales could increase tenfold in the next decade. Why? The answer is simple, they're cheaper, they charge faster, they're safer, and they use an abundant resource. From storage systems in large power grids to backup batteries for hospitals or critical facilities, the migration has already begun. At first timidly, now accelerating, because it's no longer about betting on the future, but rather adapting to the present. Lithium is starting to resemble the fax machine in the era of fiber optics, overvalued, outdated, and saturated with investments that no longer make sense. Even large investment funds, which until recently bet everything on lithium, are quietly and strategically moving their money into aluminum startups. They don't wait for press releases, they know how to read the signal before it hits the market. And the lithium giants are starting to feel the weight of that pressure. Stocks that once rose on battery euphoria are now facing a silent siege. Investors aren't abandoning their holdings en masse yet, but they are redistributing. Because smart money understands a key truth, when a superior alternative appears, loyalty ceases to matter. All that matters is performance. And aluminum isn't just overtaking lithium, it's dismantling it as a benchmark. If we zoom in, we see entire industries on the verge of being turned upside down. Lithium mining operations valued at over $100 billion globally are facing a brutal adjustment. And we're not talking about small players, but giant corporations with global networks, multi-million dollar contracts, and entire governments that depend on that market. We're talking about entire countries, industrial conglomerates, and magnates who built fortunes on lithium extraction. But the reality is harsh, as the world begins to shift toward aluminum, all that infrastructure becomes dead weight. Billions invested in refineries, shipping contracts, shady cobalt operations, and global logistics chains become obsolete in a single, clean swoop. The lithium economy becomes meaningless. Added to this is an even more corrosive factor, political risks in unstable regions, accusations of labor exploitation, and reports of child labor in the mines. This whole framework of costs, risks, and scandals loses relevance when the new battery doesn't even require those materials. Cobalt contracts, which for years were treated as the strategic heart of the supply chain, are now evaporating in an era where cobalt is no longer necessary. Entire purchasing departments, months-long negotiations with governments, and multi-billion dollar security systems are being swept away by a technology that dispenses with all of this. And the dominoes continue to fall. State subsidies, which previously propped up what was presented as, green technology, will quickly pivot, because no country wants to finance solutions that are already obsolete. Aluminum is produced more cheaply, is more easily recycled, and offers a level of safety unmatched by lithium. And there's one key detail, when insurers begin to favor aluminum because it doesn't catch fire, the clock for lithium will have begun ticking. 
The big question now is, what will Tesla do with this advantage? The answer is clear. Tesla never simply follows trends, it dictates them. While the world speculates and analyzes, Tesla acts. The first move is already underway, aluminum ion batteries are entering the company's energy division. The Megapack, the mass storage system for electrical grids, will be the first battlefield. And according to insiders, the first version of this aluminum-powered system could be launched before the end of this year, not as a simple test, but in full operational deployment. But that's just the beginning. The move that could blow up the entire board is in the automotive sector. The famous Model 2 the budget Tesla, the one that's been talked about for years, could arrive not only at an affordable price, but also with the definitive solution to the nightmare that has plagued electric vehicles since their inception, battery fires. If the Model 2 incorporates aluminum cells, it would become the first mass-produced electric car that's truly fireproof, with extended range and ultra-fast charging. A true game-changer that redefines all parameters at once, safety, range, cost, and scalability. And the most powerful thing is that this isn't limited to cars. The same technology can be transferred to next-generation drones, commercial ships, airplanes, home backup systems, and even entire national power grids. One chemistry, infinite applications. When it's released to market, it's not about raising the bar a little higher, it means resetting the standard for everyone. Automakers will have to improvise, grid planners will have to redesign their strategies, startups will flood the market, and governments will be forced to reverse policies designed for an era long gone. What we're witnessing isn't the future arriving politely, it's the past being pushed out the back door. The lithium era isn't quietly fading away, it's being uprooted by something indisputably superior. Tesla didn't simply showcase a new battery, it buried the old one with a direct message to the entire industry, evolve quickly or collapse. The cost advantages are immediate, the safety is unparalleled, and all the ethical burden of conflict zone mining and child labor is swept away in one fell swoop. We're not talking about a technological upgrade. We're facing a complete revolution. While traditional automakers were debating hybrids and battery chemistries in their boardrooms, Tesla didn't wait for an invitation, it stormed in and built a new foundation on which the entire industry will rise. And now the entire world is in chase mode. Long-standing brands like Volkswagen, Toyota, and Ford are stuck in lithium-based research and development projects that, overnight, look like lost investments. Every dollar they pour into lithium evaporates faster than the dying battery of an old phone. Meanwhile, Tesla has a leg up on all fronts, product, infrastructure, strategic alliances, and supply chains. It not only discovered the next battery, it also secured control of its implementation. The real impact is not that Tesla achieved it, but that no one else saw it coming on this scale. And now every manufacturer, every investor, and every government regulator faces the same brutal choice, reinvent themselves immediately or crumble under the weight of yesterday's assumptions. The aluminum battery didn't arrive with confetti and applause, it arrived with pure disruption. And Tesla didn't just open the door, it became the architect of the new energy world.